As you work, you want to make save versions of your work, and you may also want to access those versions later to overwrite current work, just depending on how you do things. Probably the easiest way to save a page in process that you're working on is just to hit duplicate page. And then to keep the page from being accessible to the internet, you can just go in here to quick edit and you can set the page to draft. I'm not going to do that since this is our home page here that we're working with. But if I had created a duplicate, that's exactly what I could do. So then you could just keep saving duplicates or keep creating duplicates, that is, until you're finished with your revisions and then you could delete all those. But there's actually a sort of easier way to deal with this. If you go in the upper left hand corner here under the Beaver Builder tools and you go down here to revisions, you can see the system has actually been keeping records of your revisions as you've worked. So you could use one of these revisions if you needed to. It can go back clear to four days. It goes back further than that. This is just happens to be uh, since the page was created. And so you could use one of these revisions and it would instantly put your web page back to what that was. Another way is to open the tools menu for Beaver Builder and then choose Save Template. Now when you do that, it's going to create a copy of the body of the page, not the header of the footer, but everything you've done, all the layouts, any effects you've assigned to it, everything, it's going to keep a copy of that in the templates area of your website. And what that means is you can access those templates later on, say like up here, go to Templates, go to Saved, sorry, go to Templates, and then go to Save Templates, and here's a template I saved. And then there, that is a, a version of this page that I saved as I was working on it. And then when you're done, you can just delete all those templates. So there's a few different ways to back up your work as you go and to retrieve that work once you've backed it up. And just to be clear, when it comes to templates, when you're saving them, let me show you where that is on your website. If you go back here in the dashboard, go to Beaver Builder, there's your templates. And there's one of my templates I created. We'll talk a little bit about those. Let's see a template in action. I'm going to go to Product 4. It's just a random page that hasn't been worked on at all. It's just a placeholder. It's got nothing in it. See how it's empty? So when you do this, when you create a new page, and we're going to talk about that uh, in another video, um, this is what you'll see. So I want to bring in a template. I'm going to grab my Save Template from here. I'm going to click on that. And there it is. The whole thing is brought in. Everything all at once. Pretty nice. So that is how you can use templates for example, to restore work or put yourself back to a very specific set point when you're doing your work.